In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to take an angle and get advantage by peeking correctly. Hello everyone, welcome to Lotus Lab. We're going to be talking about a very basic thing today, but something that not many people actually understand when it comes to theory but, and how to apply it in practice. They typically know, but they don't understand what, ha what just happened, right? So we're going to be talking about angle advantage. In this case, we're going to be talking about ascent on B main. So Jet is going to be holding an angle and Cypher is going to peek into the B main. So to understand the two things when it comes to like a rule of uh, the, the rule that you should follow. Right. So what the two things that you need to think about when before you peek an angle is who has an advantage? And there's a very easy way of understanding which player has an advantage by understanding who is closer to the cover right? Or the first angle. So in this case, Cypher coming from B main, his cover or his first obstacle is this wall. This is the angle. And the player who is further away from the angle has an advantage inherently by seeing the opponent first. To illustrate that, I will show you here. This is the perspective of the other player. He's holding this angle, right? So when I peek out, when I'm close to the angle, when I peek out, I still don't see the, the player that is holding this position. I still don't see him, still don't see him. And now when I swap to the opponent, he can already see half of me, right? So the player who is closer to the angle, in this case, this wall in front of the cipher, is on a, a is at a disadvantage. And this disadvantage is actually even twice as big because he is taking it from his left shoulder instead of his right shoulder. In CS, and I think in Valorant is the same thing, in CS the character's camera was always above his right eye, right? Like not in the middle of your head, but it's like more on your right right side of your eye. And I think it's the same case in Valorant. I never tested it properly, but I think it's the same because there's advantage in between left shoulder and right shoulder. So in this case, your opponent will see you faster just because not only you're closer to the angle, but also you're peeking with the left side of your body, right? So... But what you can do is you can limit the amount of disadvantage that you have by peeking further away from the angle, right? So let's see how this looks. We still don't see our opponent, right? But we're almost peeking there. And our opponent can barely see us, but he still sees us faster, right? So in general, you want to be further away, typically, from the angle you're taking to limit the disadvantage, right? Specifically when it comes to left side shoulder, or you can take advantage of a relative speed for the, uh, for the uh, person that is holding an angle. So what does that mean? If I'm, if I'm hugging the corner very close, so I have a very big disadvantage when it comes to showing myself, right? If I peek like this, it's probably a death sentence. Like, if I peek like this, even if I pre-fire this corner, your opponent will gonna have so much time to react, you're probably still gonna die. But what you can do is, the closer to the cover you are, the closer to the angle you are, you're gonna be, in theory, faster by wide swinging. So you can limit or, like, throw away the crosser placement of your opponent by wide swinging like this. So you limit the way that he can react because his cross replacement is going to be off because you just go past his cross replacement, right? So that will make maybe the player peek out into your angle now. And now he's at this disadvantage because you are closer, sorry, you are, he's closer to the angle than you, right? So in this case, you have two options. You either wide swing like this, if, of course, if you don't have utility, and maybe your opponent will peek into you, and now you have the advantage because he's closer to the angle, or you peek from further away and you pre-fire this angle, right? By doing a precise swing from the further um, angle from this first cover, right? So you limit the amount of disadvantage that you have. The problem is, this is still from the left shoulder, so you will gonna have a huge disadvantage. Now, um, there's also a very good example on this map, by the way, that I always wanted to showcase, because when people are taking B side, they're typically going into this corner and be like, <laughs> I'm, I'm holding CT, man, I'm holding CT. You literally will always die here. The, the reason why, right, is actually 
let me illustrate this first and be main because this is a good illustration as well. So this is the actual line of sight for the jet holding this, right? So as you can see, the box of the cipher is coming into the vision before his middle of the box where the camera would be hypothetically, right? This is why it's being visible first, right? And now, now uh, let's make a comparison to this position, right? So we have Cypher who's hugging this corner over here. And who is going to be at a disadvantage? Let's guess. The person who is closer to the angle, right? So when the jet is going to be coming from CT, she's going to see Cypher before Cypher sees her. Because the Cypher not only is closer to the angle, right? But he's also, there's not enough space for him to entirely hide. So in game, it's going to be looking like something like this. Wait, let's put the camera over here. Yep, this is good. And now the Cypher is going to come here. So we don't see the player behind the wall. But the opponent can already see us. Why? Because in this case, the player coming from this wall is further away from the angle. And the Cypher is closer away to the angle. Sorry, is closer to the angle. So you have a disadvantage. Right? This is like an extreme example because the distances are just so close, right? But it even matters when it's right hand shoulder and it's like long angle. To, to make a comparison here, let me just grab back this. We're going to go to A side. And in A side, a very common spot is someone holding dice from here, right? And then someone swinging from this corner. I'm going to put the camera over here. If I'm able to. Should be to. Hmm. Here we go. So now we can look into this angle, right? And then the person from here is going to swing. Now, the thing is, here we're swinging with the right shoulder. So the, the disadvantage is smaller, right? But we're still going to be closer to the angle. So, look, I'm still not seeing the person on dice. I'm still not seeing the person on the dice, right? But I can already be seen. Remember when person is actually wielding a gun? You're going to be wider than this, because this is Cypher with his hand down. But typical gun is going to be like this, right? So it's going to be more visible. So I cannot still, still, I'm not able to see the person next to dice. But I'm almost fully visible, right? But it's still small disadvantage than the left shoulder. So in this case, again, I'm peeking closer to the angle. The other person has a longer range to the angle, so that I am at a disadvantage, right? So to limit the disadvantage... I'm going to be swinging from close to the wall, so I increase the angle distance for here, and now I can wide swing to have better commitment, right? So in this case, it allows me to swing out and, and make the disadvantage just smaller, right? But the thing is, always remember, this is like an extreme example because you just drive try swinging like it's CS, like you shouldn't be doing this, right? Always use utility before you swing or use any smokes to limit the amount of angles and so on. But I want to explain the most basic concept of how angle work in this game and in any tactical FPS game, essentially, right? And how you can take an advantage and this and how you under, can understand a disadvantage when it comes to taking gunfights in Valorant. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, see you guys in the next video. If you like consider subscribing or leaving a comment and so on. And if you have a, let's say, advice on what next topic to explain, leave it in the comment as well. See you guys.